G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to Subnautica in the Below Zero expansion or I guess it's got a, sta a standalone game but a smaller standalone game is what the original was. Whatever, Subnautica Below Zero where I am back after the travesty that we had last time. In the last episode, everything went wrong. We lost part of our sea truck, this things disappeared randomly, nothing that I wanted to get done on that episode actually happened. So I'm kind of uh, put in the work off camera to get myself back to where I wanted to be and in doing that I have now like basically cut sea truck cut pudgy boy in half he was big he was long he was uh, you know basically just a big old schlong but basically now he is much much smaller I had to do it for two reasons one he wouldn't be able to fit into the area where I am now over at like the glacial shelf he wouldn't be able to come over here unless he was much smaller than he was before because there's a, a tiny little hole you've got to squeeze through down near the jellyfish but also he's much faster like this this is like the speed version of Pudge. So all I've got on me now is obviously like the main Pudgy boy himself, the teleportation module and I also have on me the tel- uh, no, 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 this one, the teleportation unit so I can teleport back to Pudgy boy if I need to. I've uh, got my fabricator module and one storage filled with just like random stuff I think I might need as I go about my business. But then I brought myself out to this area here where I was going to go last time to continue on the story. And I have been reading the comments you guys have been leaving on the other episodes about like kind of what to expect coming up. I've been trying my best to kind of avoid spoilers, but I mean, listen, it's the internet. That shit is going to happen. But basically, what I now know is that there are three parts to Alan's body. I found one of them down in the, um, like, the firewater cave, like, down in the depths underneath the lily pads. There's apparently one uh, on the glacial shelf somewhere, somewhere out where I am now. And there's also one that apparently I went past when I was running away from the shadow leviathans down in the blue crystal cave. So I've got to go here. I've got to go down to the blue crystal cave and then to the red crystal cave to make Alan's body. So that is, that's that, that, that's the plan of action. Hopefully, fingers crossed and toes crossed and everything else you've got that can be crossed, should be crossed. Hopefully we get that done today. I kind of doubt it, but we'll give it a red hot steam and crack. But first and foremost, let's jump on the snow fox and get going and get exploring. Just because I know there's three parts doesn't mean I know where to find them exactly. So, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I'm heading out into the snowy tundra and hopefully I'll come across something important soon. I'm thinking back to the last time that I was here and there was like that, um, that weird, like, Elterra looking, like, actual, like, human made or person made, artificially made bridge. I went across one of those that led me to like the frozen leviathan cave, but there was another one I saw in the distance that I kind of didn't go to, so maybe, maybe that's where I need to go, like the second bridge. Not that I know where the first or the second bridge is, so I'm going to have to keep just going around through the highlands when the fog clears, I might actually be able to get a, a sight of something around here somewhere. I'm going to go through there, retrace my steps as best I can, hopefully find where to go. I am, uh, by the way, I, I know I could have brought Penny here. You can bring Penny up out of the water, uh, up to like kind of scatter around, and then I could have punched all the, uh, the stalkers in the face that I so pleased but I like having the speed of the the snow fox the speed and versatility plus it's a freaking hover bike in fact saying it's a hover bike I have a present for your hover bike uh wait no uh, pack up where's your there's uh oh stop stop did I park this in a really really inconvenient place like right next to a stalker I freaking did I've only got 30% power left in my uh, my propulsion cutter as well. I did bring an extra one. Like, I've got lots of batteries down in Pudgy Boy down there. But, like, that was really silly, Josh. Well, I mean, that's the problem with the fog. You know, you never know what's just over the horizon. There might be something with big teeth and big fangs and a big long blue tongue ready to stick it in your earlobe and come out the other end of you. That's okay. I've got something for you. Hit you with that. Hit you with that. Oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. Ooh. Starting from my previous adventures, I've been here before. Interesting. Here we go. Snow Fox Jump Module. Booster configuration allows the Snow Fox to initiate short jumps across terrain. Fair enough. Well, let's jump on that. No, and no, I've got access upgrades again. For goodness sake, just get on the bloody thing. Oh, I hate it. I hate how, like, you know, uh, there's, like, different areas that are invisible that do different things. It's always annoying. Boost, left ship, jump is space. Ooh. I mean, that sounds like a mini jump. That's a pretty decent jump. I mean... I'll take that any day of the week. And I think just like kind of in the fog over there, that's a long straight line. And nature don't have long straight lines. That means that might be the bridge just over there. We'll go and quickly scope it out. Come on, here we go. Yes, look at it go. Gotta love the snow foxy boy. He's a champion. 
We are definitely on the right track. Okay, here is bridge Why? Well, assume bridge one. I don't know, I can't see any others around here, but I can't see the tip of my dick anyway. So, I mean, your guess is as good as mine. We'll just keep on going until we find uh, anything that might be uh, good for us. Um, I think that's the frozen Leviathan cave that way. So if I head this way, that might lead me to where I need to go. I don't want to go through any caves. I mean, there's no bridges in caves. So I'll just keep going this way, away from where I parked up Pudgy Boy. I assume that's the right direction. You're just kind of away from where I was. Any direction is a good direction, as long as it's somewhere I haven't been before. I've come across another stalker nest, but that's... Oh, nope, stop. That's all right. I can just go up here. There's some little, uh... <gasps> there's some quartz over there. I mean, I'm using titanium, but quartz is a bit spiky, a bit jagged. But that does more damage. Wait for the point to go forward. Spin, 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 and bang! Nope, didn't care about it. It works the same as everything else. Hit you again. All right, there you go. I'm starting to slowly freeze to death as the sun is going down, which isn't very good. But I am like... I didn't really realize I'm on like on a mountain peak. That's a bit interesting. How you doing, tiny stalker? I missed that completely. I completely would have got 1% battery left in my repulsion counter. So thankfully, it's just little boy over here. I'm not going to bother trying to pat you because you will try and murder me. Just don't come over here. Don't come over here. It'll give you a whole life of just massive psychological problems. Don't look at this. I promise it's not worth it. I can keep on going up. Not that it's particularly worthwhile. Or I can go off a sweet jump. Oh, wow. That, I mean, I've got the jump feature now. That'll take me uh, quite a long way to nowhere. So this is the thing, you know. Ooh. Is that a bridge over there? No, it looks like another part of a cave. Although that's a reasonably straight line again. As I said, no straight lines in nature. So maybe that's where the other bridge is. I can never be too sure. Is that a light over there? Is that Pudge's light over there? It only shows up when I'm in the light of the snow fox. I guess it just renders the light if you do that. I don't know. I guess so. I can't see anything though. This, I mean, the, the one compartment I wanted to bring that I didn't bring was the sleeper module that I can put on Pudge now, specifically for this, because it's going to get dark and I can't see anything. Like, it was foggy when it was daytime, and now it's just dark when it's clear. Look, you can even see the nice night sky. That's how clear it is, but I can't see the bloody bridge. I wanted to go in the sleeper compartment just so I could skip the night, but it wouldn't have fit, so I had to, you know, leave some of the things behind. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know anymore. I'll keep that mountain in mind for when the sun comes up again. But I guess we'll just kind of keep on just, uh, just heading in any direction we can and just exploring the hard, old-fashioned way by looking at what's in front of our feet and try not to step on anything. Well, the sun came up and it obscured my vision with some more fog and just some more red light of death. So don't even worry about it then, game. I'll go somewhere else. Uh, I, I didn't see much of it, but what I did see of it makes me think it's probably not the bridge. It looks more like a waterfall, like side by side with another waterfall, giving it like the appearance of a straight line, but not actually. So it's, it's heard me talk about how there's no straight lines in nature, and immediately proved me wrong. But it's just kind of, you know, just the way my eyes work, trying to pick out patterns in anything. So we'll just keep on exploring. I assume, I mean, that's the way I came from. So I'm going to go back that way again. I assume, like, the higher I go, the better, maybe? I don't know. I don't actually know how to get out of this place. I'm just kind of cruising around. Fault. Didn't I murder you a second ago? How did you come back? I don't, I don't care. Whatever. Oh, God. Oh, that's a big cliff. That was silly. That was silly. Ow. Where the hell am I now? Oh, God. I flew off a goddamn cliff on a hover bike, and I regret it. That's a long drop. Thank God this bike hovers. I was able to broken every bone in my bloody body. Oh, God damn it. I'm back down. Oh, that's the original bridge. I got excited for a second seeing a bridge, but it's the wrong bridge. It's the first bridge, not the one I'm actually looking for. Uh, this way, I suppose. Jesus Christ. I mean, look, I've got, in fact, maybe, maybe I can use the sea glide. Sea glide, you have a map on you, don't you? You do, but I can't use you out of water. All right, fair enough. You can't, like, shine a little hologram and show me where to go around here. Oh, God, but well, there is a Muppet right there. All right, never mind. Never mind. No, no, no. No, you big old sausage. Get out of that one. Board the body bike. Jesus. Every time I start to panic, I just click on the thing I want to, I want to drive. And the game's like, oh, do you want to check the upgrades? How about the storage? Do you want to pick up your snow fox? Like, no, motherfucker. Lift your leg, strap it on, rub your cock against it, and get the hell out of here. You know what, actually? That might be a different bridge to what I thought it was. Alan's getting all his nipples in a twist by me being near something. There's a tiny little hole here I might go investigate. That bridge looks a bit thicker, a bit more of a chunky boy than the last one was. I've reloaded my rep uh, propulsion cannon with some more battery in case I need it. No, I have been here before. This is where I picked up the flashlight with no batteries. Okay, Alan, I know you're all excited and shit, but I ain't going through that cave all over again. But this was like one of the last places I found last time around, so maybe this is actually where I need to be. 
I need to find a way back up to where that bridge is because I fell off a cliff a little bit a second ago and it kind of got stuck down here when I ran away from that stalker. I don't know how to get back up there though. I don't know. Anything that's a ramp up will be good. Let's just try and find our way around and hopefully not get ourselves killed. While whatever is roaring up in the distance. They all know I'm here. Just, oh God, just keep on going. I'm sorry to do this to you, buddy, but I desperately need to go past where you're currently standing. No, give me that one. There we go. Grab you and line it up. Thank God. I figured, oh my God. I figured out at some point that I can kill these idiots with any sort of projectile. I wanted to drop that on the ground, please. There you go. Throw you down there. Grab another one. Reload. God, it's slower than reloading a bloody musket, but it gets the job done. Pick you back up again. Thank you very much. Always going to keep your musket balls on you. Apparently, the court spikes don't do dick all. Oh, look. It's nice and clear. Now that I'm down somewhere where I can't see anything anyway. So thanks, but no thanks, game. Let's go get our snow fox back. See if we can make it to some high ground before the fog rolls in again. Oh, no, nah, never mind. There you go. Here comes the star. I've got four seconds of visibility, and it's already gone. I could have sworn that bridge should have been around here somewhere. The big, thick bridge. But look, there's one bridge over there. I'm pretty sure that's the, the normal bridge. I definitely thought I was closer to the one than that one all the way over there. I didn't travel that far away when I was basically underneath it two seconds ago. But let's get up to the high ground. It's still reasonably clear. I might be able to see it. We might be okay. Is there more ramps up? More? Yes, there are. That's the other bridge. Oh, oh, oh. No. Bad. Bad. Oh. All right, it's right there. Never mind about the high ground. I finally found the bridge. Thank God. It took me all that time, and I almost fell off a cliff again. But here we go. Okay, off to a new area. I haven't been across this bridge before. We're, just, we're discovering new things. That's always exciting, but also probably pretty bad for keeping my organs inside my body. Oh, God. It's like... It sounds like a bloody glacier at the start of Ice Age. Is Scrat around here somewhere with his bloody acorn like, causing some issues? There were two glaciers inexplicably sliding towards each other any, any second now. I don't know. But uh, Alan's getting his nipples in all... Is there a monster causing this? I don't know. Alan's getting his nipples in all sorts of a twist. So maybe there's some artifacts nearby that I might need. There's also a bunch of our tarot boxes around. So maybe there's some new technology or something somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to leave this place before I scope everything out. Because this is the thing, you know. I'm too excited about getting to a new area. I completely forget about everything I'm supposed to do. And I go just like gallivanting into some place I probably shouldn't be in yet. And miss everything. God damn it. That I probably should have taken with me. Board Snow Fox. Yep, we're good. All right. Let's, um, I don't know. Let's find, let's find a pass that isn't trying to kill me. Whoa! Whoa! What the? What the living titty fucking Christ? No! No! Where's my snow fox? So, oh, it's underneath the goddamn giant pinnacle of heady death. What the shit game? Oh, okay. The glacial soundy movie things was a monster. Are you okay, bud? Are you okay? Can we be friends again? Can I board you? All right. Oh, Jesus! Stop it! I'm just want to get my. You are one big red-nosed bastard. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is coming back for me. And they ain't even Christmas time. We don't have white Christmas in Australia. That's the middle of fucking summer. So all this snow and fucking Rudolph can piss... Oh my god, can piss off. Get, get on the fucking thing. Please, for the love of Christ. Okay, there we go. We're just going. Speed is going to be my best friend here. Oh, yep, nah, yeah, nah. Ooh. But it, ah, shit, fuck. Okay, never mind, never mind. I'm running, I'm running. You can have Snowbox. I don't even care. You can have it. I have to repair him later. Just leave me alone. <laughs> no. This is the worst Christmas carol ever. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is supposed to help me when it's all foggy and snowy. Not come out here and try and insert his giant red nose into several of my orifices all at the same time. Poor old Snowbox out there copped a solid pounding from underneath from that thing. And now I'm scared. I mean, if I just stand on the metal grid, get, am I going to be okay? I don't want to go back down there anymore. Yeah, nah. Yeah, fucking nah. Oh, good. A first aid kit. There is actually some first aid kits back in Pudgy Boy. I did load up on some of that before I left. Thumper. Thumps things. Okay. Yep. Cool. Fair enough. Is it like a rabbit? Can I like make myself a rabbit and throw it at shit? And it's going to like forget the fight for me? Uh, Thumper. What are you going to do? I feel like you're going to be important given I found you all the way out here next to the death. Thumper, thumbstick. Doesn't tell me anything more about it. I need a battery. There are some batteries in Pudgy Boy, but he's a long way away. I don't know. I don't know. Do I, do I need that thing? Should I like? Should I make a priority to go back home and grab some batteries and make it? I'm not really sure. 
But I, I just, I don't want to leave this area. If it's safe to be here, this is where I want to be. One thing that I do know for certain with all of this, uh, you know, I'm still in the same area I haven't left yet, is that Alan's still getting his purpley nipples all in a twist about being out here somewhere. So there must be something good relatively nearby. Ah. Ah, ah. Is that what you're getting all in a tiz about, Alan? There's a ladder, so there must be something good down there somewhere. Let's have a quick little gander down here. What is all this shit? Oh, okay. So I could have brought... This is what, some quartz as well? Pick up quartz. There's lots of quartz. Okay, interesting. So I could have brought uh, Penny here and, like, mined all of this. But more importantly, quartz... Actually, here's what I'm thinking. Maybe I make myself a cheeky little base out here. Because I've got titanium, I've got some copper, oh, I've got some quartz now, apparently, as well. I can make a tube, I can make a solar panel, and then I can make myself a fabricator. And I can just make myself some batteries out here, make myself the thumper thing, whatever that is. And maybe that, I, I don't know, I just, just like throw it around. It's, the only thumper I know is a bloody rabbit with big floppy ears that thumps the ground. Oh. Thumps the ground. Ha so, does a thumper... Oh god, the, the horde is coming. That bloody red-nosed worm, Rudolph, is coming back for me. Does a thumper draw out Rudolph? Like, if I throw a thumper, does it thump the ground and draw Rudolph to it? Because, like, I was cruising on the Snow Fox at, like, full throttle, and it didn't give a flying shit. It still came up and penetrated me, which was no bueno. So maybe that's how I've got to escape it. God, Snow Fox is in some serious issues over there. I need, I need to pick him up and bring him back to, like, the area over there so I can actually repair him. Pick you up. Inventory full. I can hear him. I can hear him. God, that's a horrifying sound. The sound of that glacier moving underneath you with Rudolph coming to eat you. Okay, maybe I, don't, maybe I just can't run. That's the, maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's the key if I just... Ah! Huh? Rudolph! No! Fuck off and fly a sled around. I don't want you here. I'm starting to regret... I don't know why I brought the grab trap, but I'm kind of full of everything else. I do have the teleport tool to go back home should I need to. Uh, how big... How big is the snow fox? I don't quite remember. Let's just throw the grab trap on the ground over there. Whatever. You can just like do whatever you do. I'm not going to suck anything over over here, but that's all right. You're going to stay on the ground for a moment. I need to go and get snow fox. There's nowhere to crouch. Alan's in all sorts of mess. God, I'm going to give him a rag or something to clean up after himself. He's about to go full structural integrity of sand around here. I can, see, I can hear it. I can hear it. Oh, he's out here somewhere. Rudolph. Rudolph, no. Please, no. I just... Yeah, there we go. Okay, whatever. Run! Run! Run away from Rudolph! We have what we need. We can repair him over here. This is like the only safe sanctuary in this whole goddamn place. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna build myself an above-ground base. Oh, God. The world really doesn't like if I try and do that, though. Not really what Subnautica is all about, but it's what I am all about right now, because I need to make myself a fabricator, plus I need somewhere to spend the night, given it's cold and freezing out here. Can I just want to build it, like, down here? Somewhere, somewhere not too high off the ground. Uh, whatever, fuck it. You'll, you'll do just there. You're kind of hovering, you're kind of broken, but that's fine. Whatever, I can still get down to the pit of death down there. I'm also going to need a hatch on you so I can actually get in and out. Now, it is night time, which means I can't use the solar power to charge it all up, but that's all right. It doesn't matter to me right now. Don't need the oxygen or anything for it. In we go. <laughs> this is so freaking pathetic. Just a tiny little hole of death with a fabricator in it. I mean, sure. I've got the quartz. I've got the, uh, the copper. I need to go find myself some titanium. I need to go find myself some musket balls to find some ammo. But I can't stray too far. Oh, wait. There's titanium in the hole, isn't there? All right. Down in the hole we go. Fuck off, Rudolph. No. He is really mad at me. I don't know where he is. He's in the wall somewhere just waiting for me to let my guard down, I suppose. Oh, is it, oh God. I thought it was glowing red because the Rudolph's nose was coming for me. But I guess not. I guess we're okay. Is there more... Oh, shut up, dude. Is there more titanium for me down here? There's lots of quartz. I mean, quartz is good, but I need something else other than quartz, please. Jesus, where? He's like right underneath me somewhere. He is not a happy chap. I finally got the fur fabricator all sorted out, but the whole world is jiggling and jiving, which means Ice Wormy Boy is probably nearby. This thing apparently is the Ice Worm, which I'm not excited about. I'm still going to call it Rudolph, though, because it's got a big red nose, and it's so much easier to remember Rudolph than Ice Worm. Oh, that's just Lighty Boy down there. Like, I was, God, maybe thought it was like a schematic or something. Not sure why the world vibrates when I go inside, but that's all right. Okay. Personal tools. Thumper. 
Oh, I've got the battery on me, actually. I didn't realize I, just, I was all I needed for it. My battery that I took out all of a sudden because there's a 1% battery in it left. That's going to be a perfect use for it. You, thumper, there we go. Now, do, uh, do I just use one and pick it up again? Or does, it, like, the, does, does Rudolph eat it if I come by it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this is actually going to work. But my inventory is pretty full right now, of course. I took way too many. Let's eat some heat fruit. Uh, okay. Okay, it's just we're just gonna have to figure it out. We're just gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to just like wring its neck and see what happens. What's the worst that happens? I die horribly in the mouth of a giant Rudolph Red Nose 90? Yep, no, nah, that sounds pretty awful to me. But hey, why not? I don't have any storage in the um in the actual base itself down there, so I'm just gonna throw it all at the grab trap here and hopefully that counts as some sort of storage. Wanna hold on to that for me, buddy? Yes, please, thank you very much. Alright, let's um Let's go do it, I suppose. I'm not sure, like, where or when I'm supposed to throw that thump down or if it's even going to work. Now sounds like a pretty good time. That, that didn't do anything. That didn't, do I have to, like... Inventory? Thump, thumper? No! That was the wrong button. Oh, God! Yep, okay. Thumper draws in Rudolph. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. For some reason, I... I why did I pick up bloody snow fox? It was all I wanted to do at all. But I guess I guess Thumper is now gone and it's just me and my snow fox going through. I don't think I was supposed to go down here, was I? Ow, ow, shit. Oh, maybe I was. Okay, okay. Am I safe in a cave? I hope I'm safe in a cave. Alan's getting all nipply about it, so hopefully this is a good place to be. Oh, yes, fruit. Fruit, om nom nom. Give me that. I don't particularly need it, but I want it. Just eat all of it. Oh. Please tell me I'm safe in a cave from this thing. I can't believe how badly I did with Thumper then, by the way. I threw him down, he started making a ruckus, and then I picked up Snow Fox. That was just a, a travesty of errors. Oh, I don't like it at all. I don't, I don't like it at all. Is there anywhere that's safe from this thing? I mean, if he's cruising through the glacier, probably not. He's got the nose to melt wherever he needs to go. He's like a goddamn giant red-nosed mole. Oh, I don't know where to go. Oh, it all sounds horrific and scary. I hope this is the right place. Alan was excited about it, so I hope it's gonna be. I'm not just gonna accidentally fall down a hole and go back to where I came from and leave Snow Fox up on a glacier somewhere. This does feel mildly familiar, though. Is this... Is, oh, please tell me this isn't the... Uh, is this the bloody hole that had the flashlight at the end of it? If I've come back here by accident and fallen off that bloody cliff and have to do that all again, I'm gonna be really freaking upset. You son of a bitch. It is this place. I've been here before. Ah, that's really annoying. That's really freaking annoying. I mean, it's not, I guess it's not so bad, I suppose. Or maybe I could use this time to go back to Pudge and grab some stuff. Uh, I do need to charge up Snow Fox as well, so I'll probably do that. I do need to go grab the rest of the batteries out of the, um, out of the ship as well. So it's not an awful thing. I need to make more thumpers as well, and hopefully this time not be so bad at it. Why can't I just throw, throw the, the thumper on the ground? Why do I have to, like, place it, then get back on my snow fox? Because I'm terrible at clicking the right, the specific part of the snow fox that I need to do to get onto that thing. Oh, piss off. Piss off, buddy. I'm not in the mood anymore. Go fly a kite. Go help Santa Claus. Go help all the other non-special reindeers. Apparently, you're unique. I don't want to deal with you right now. Fuck off, you big, wormy bastard. Yeah, look, there's the bridge over there. However, I just realized there's... Can I reach that with the... I might have checked this last time. God, if I miss if I miss this, though, I'm real cooked. I can't quite get over there, but I reckon, like, with a hop, skip, and a jump on my snow fox, I probably can. I mean, it's worth a crack, right? I mean, I didn't have the jump option last time. Let's go like this. We'll go down to here. And we're just going to line it up and just hope for the best. Here we go. How much battery have I got? 16% battery. Not much, but some. Can you face the right way, please, Snow Fox? Jesus Christ. We're trying to get you lined up. Oh, no. Nah, not going to make it. Never going to make it. Don't even know what's in that thing, but I'm just going to go back to Pudgy. Don't have the battery be faffing about anymore. We need to get home, get our stuff, and then just remember where we came from. Bridge is over this way, so I'm heading east, so the bridge is to the west. Got it. Oh, I can pull the battery out of it. Oh, that's really, I think, is it just a battery? Can I... Can I put my ion battery into the, uh, into the snow fox in a second? I don't need the sea glide up here. I definitely don't, but I do need, uh, snow fox to have the best option. There we go. And then just, like, put you down. I mean, I don't have the ion battery on me anymore, so I guess that worked? I don't know. Board Snow Fox. I'll still get you, like, docked up on here to charge up. Charge an ion battery for me. Cheers, mate. This is the only way I can now charge batteries out here inside. <gasps> 
and I can even change your color. Okay, here we go. Uh, everything. I don't care about bloody Rudolph over there. All the fact I'm freezing to death. This is more important. I need to make sure that Hobble Bike has a name. It was called Snow Fox, which is fine, but it needs a better one. What are we going to call you, mate? What are we going to call you? It's not super exotic or, you know, special in any way, but I want to call it Harry. Harry the hover bike. And we're going to give you some nice color as well because everything, everything I own needs to be colorful. And one color in particular, if I could grab the bloody slider bar. There we go. Get some color in here. Let's go. That's a nice purple. The name can be black. The interior can be... Well, I'd normally go purple, but I, I can't really see what I'm doing anyway. Can I like... I mean, that looks pretty sick just as is. I mean, if I change the interior color, actually, what actually changes is to have a look at you. Is it just the handlebars? Oh, and the stripe on the side, actually. Okay, if I change it to green, is it still the stripe on the side? Oh, weird. Okay, I'm not sure how the colors are playing against each other, but I'm just going to turn it all... Actually, the yellow was actually quite pretty cool, actually. The stripe can also be maybe green? I don't know. What? How's that looking? I'm pretty sure I changed the name to black. Why is the name green? You know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. But the orange, the orange doesn't look quite how I wanted it to. So let's get you. Let's turn you back to purple so you can match everything else. The name can stay black. And this can be yellow, I suppose. If I don't know what that's actually changing anymore. Oh my god, what have I done? It was just getting too complicated. So it's just black and purple, full Jawoodle themed, but it's looking nice. I like how it's like spinning it around to give me a nice little like tour of my bike. You walk away and it goes back to being normal. All right, cool. You just wait there for two seconds, mate. I need to go down and see Pudgy Boy and grab some more supplies. This is good, you know? We're making progress. We made more progress in the first, like, um, I don't know, like, like, 15 minutes at this point, I suppose. Oh, God, I've already been recording for more than an hour. Shit, how did that happen so quickly? Uh, let's see. I've got some water for first aid. I don't need you guys. What have I got in here? I've got some fruits. I did bring some batteries with me somewhere. There we go. Some batteries and some power cells. Well, let's take some batteries and swap out some of my tools and get some, like, lower power batteries to make myself some more thumpers, draw out Rudolph's attention, and then run the shit away. I'm so glad I painted Harry, because look at him now. He's, uh, looking pretty spick and span in his purple and black outfit. So last time I came here, I went that way, I think. So I assume maybe this way this time? I don't know. I have prepared for this. I've got some thumpers on me. So if I need to, I can get off and place them down. Hopefully draw the attention of Rudolph without too much issues. But I am also... Damn it! You big bastard. You big bastard. Okay, look. Here, take that. No! No! Where is he? Where is he? Get me in. Get me in. Board Snow Fox. We're going. We're going. Oh, yep. Yep. Yeah, no. Nah, Gary! I don't know where to go. Oh, Jesus! Game, game, no, no. I'm not okay with this shit. You keep fucking up my bike. I'm not all right with it. Board Snow Fox, let's get going. Let's get going. Where the hell am I supposed to go here? There's like a cave or something around here? Oh, there we go. Yep, good, 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 good. I was going to say, I saw some caves coming in. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's some glowy green things. All right, well, let's not assume for a second that we're safe in here because we're absolutely definitely not. Can't see shit. Why are you sparking? What are you? Fuck it. Fuck an entire flock of ducks. Let's get you. Let's put you back in the spot. I mean, is the is the Thumble Boy upstairs still doing stuff? Is this the thing that Alan was getting excited about? Precursor cabling. Let's tap the view. Precursor cable. I don't. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Okay. There's lots of ports here. Oh, this is, this is just bad news bears. This is just such bad news bears. I need to repair Harry before we keep on going. Leave me alone for two seconds. Ah, I bet. Okay, so I'm not safe in the cave at all. I barely got rolling and he threw the, his fucking weight around. There we go. Put a thing there. Put Snow Fox. Get through before he comes shows up. Okay, just keep going. Just keep going. I don't know where to go now, but anything that catches my eye, I'm going to go have a quick gander at. I also know where I came. I think I came from that way over there. All right, let's just... Follow the outskirts of this area. It must lead to somewhere, something, somehow, some way. I don't know. Is this another cave over here? Yes, it is. All right, we're going in. Please don't lead me to somewhere death and destruction. Please don't take me to the bloody Rudolph lair. Oh, there's also ah, you bitch. Every time. Every freaking time. The ground's shaking and I'm staying still. I am just not moving. Oh, there's a way up there, though. But I need, I need Harry. Okay, it's one little step at a time. 
One little step at a time. Can I reach? I can't quite reach. You've seen some better days. I'm coming for you, Has. I'm not leaving you behind. There we go. There we go. He's down to half health. Wow. Rudolph is fucking hurry up. Something shocking. I can't quite grab you though, mate. I can't do it. I'm trying my best, bud. Board Snow Fox. No. I want to grab Snow Fox. There we go. Pack up Snow Fox. Right. Shh. Shh. Everyone be super quiet. We're getting hunted by a reindeer. It's slow and tedious and painful, but I do honestly think I'm better off just being on foot going around. If I need to warm up, I've got some more heat fruit on me, which would be fine. I've picked up Harry and I'm taking it with me. But as soon as I jump on Harry and start banging about, uh, Rudolph comes up and tries to rearrange my organs by using the tip of his nose, which is no good for me, given I like to keep my organs generally sitting where they are. Let's quickly eat some more of you. In fact, let's just, let's just chow down. There's a little plant there we can load up. Jeez, it got dark quick. God, it was like... Barely even dusk a second ago. Now it's the middle of the night. I'm just going to cruise around. Just like take little steps at a time. Just to hopefully find where I need to go. Because like, you know, speed is not important here. Survival is. Is this, a, is this something important? There's like a little cave here. It's like in the central spire. I've just kind of jumped down from the cave I was just in. I came out on top of a little cliff and jumped down. This looks very promising. This looks like somewhere where they would put something important. The ground is shaking. Jeff stay still for a little bit until it stops shaking just quite so much. He's nearby. He's lurking. He knows I'm around. God, he is. He is intent. He smells blood, which is kind of like to be expected. We've got a nose that big. Just easy to ease it. Ease it in. Ease it nice and slowly. God, all I, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for anything alien. I found a goddamn cable. I found some conduit, but nothing more than that. I just kind of realized that this, uh, you know what looks like it might have been burrowed out by? You know what this looks like it is? It's not a lava tunnel. Oh no, this, I reckon, is Rudolph's home. I mean, if I'm going into the, into the, like, the holes that Rudolph is making, then that must lead me to something important, right? I can't go that way anymore. There's a ladder here. Interesting. Okay, easy does it. Up we go. Oh, another ladder. Okay. Don't know who was here before me to put these ladders down, but they did. And I came out nowhere. Oh, there's a light on top of the cliff. That is that where I need to go? Is that where I just was? I'm not sure. I will just like, kind of slowly dawn away over there. Just like tippy-toeing my way across the ice. He's nearby. He knows I'm here. He can smell the fear. I can see the ladder that leads to the lights. I assume the lights is where I want to go. I mean, it's the only thing I've got to go on right now. The light, uh, like the sun went down and the lights shone up. So I hope that's where I'm supposed to go. Oh, there's a big green glowy thing down there though. Green often means architect. So maybe that way. I'm not sure. I'm going to check the lights first though. So far, so good. I am very tempted to throw down a thumper. I've only got one thumper left though. I don't want to get too gratuitous with my use of thumpers. Because otherwise it turns into like a you know, whole like plague thing. Rabbits are known for breeding and going everywhere. So I don't want to throw just like rabbits down all over the place. That's going to cause some bad times. Here we go. We'll check this first. If this is the work, I'll go into that cave over there with the green stuff. But this is the only thing here that's kind of like standing out to me. So this is what I want to check. Well, it's not going to be anything to do with Alan because there's some Altera containers here. What have you got? First aid kit. Oh, it's all getting jiggly jiggly like a bowl of jelly. Nah, we're good. Okay, keep on going. Oh, he's roaring. He's... Oh, there's green stuff over there too. <gasps> okay, how did I miss that a second ago? I came out of a hole like over there, I think it was. And I just kind of got so distracted by the light on top of the hill. I completely neglected to see the giant green glowing light just there. Very silly. Right, another health kit. That's fine. Let's uh, slide the little cliff here. Don't hear me. Ow. No, we're fine. We're fine. Ow. Nah, we're also fine. Just keep on going. This must be good. This must be a thing. If this is leading me to something, hopefully this will take me where I need to be. All it led me to was another massive plane. Or potentially even the same plane as before. No, it's definitely a different one because they're... Jesus. There is a thing all the way over there that I very much need to go and have a quick look at. Oh, I don't know where he is, though. I mean, I've been like, crawling around this place for so long. There's such a long way to go. Maybe this is where I have to... Oh, yeah, okay, there's lots of green over there. That's definitely where I need to go. All right, this is the time to use a thumper. Let's just kind of get set up, get prepared, get ready. That's going to be a long ass haul. Okay, here we go. Uh, Harry is down, and we're looking over that way. We're going to be fine here. Let's go five and just place you there. Now, I did kind of check before as well. If I just look at the front prongs, then I can board it nice and quickly. Boom. There we go. And on. Okay, here we go. Nice and speedy. All the way across the tundra. Please actually be what I'm searching for. There's a stalker over there. He looks kind of mad. I disconnected from my people for so long, but I remember there is something nearby of value. If only your memory were less selective. It is your memory, too. 
Dude, you are such horseshit. You are honestly such a waste of my cerebral cortex. Oh, everything's jiggly. There's so many stalkers over here. But I'm glad that Alan's telling me that something is nearby. There's lots of green shit around. Okay, well, where do I go then? Let's just leave you there for a second. Let's go and sit on top of this thing. This is an ice. Hopefully this will block your old mate Rudolph from coming up and getting inside me. Yes, I go. You're all very upset with me. You're all very cross that I've come all this way. But you need to just todger off for a second. I've got other things I need to concentrate on for the moment. Oh, there's a big cavern down here. Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Easy does it. Down into the cavern. I'm not sure if this is how I'm supposed to do this stuff. Yep, no, nope, you didn't see me. All right, we're good. Let's get down and get deep and hopefully not come across anything that's not good for me. Jesus, I hate that sound. The ominous sound of death and destruction in the distance is making me clench like never before. I've got so much pillow stuffing inside me at this point. I am basically just a walking, talking couch. I don't even need cushions anymore. I am just one giant cushion. All right, just keep on going deeper. Keep on going deeper. I know I can hear, but ooh. Purple tablet fragments. Interesting. I only saw that because the bloody watch, uh, the bloody propulsion cannon was trying to go, uh, lock onto it. Ah. Okay, keep on going. Keep on going. We'll be okay. Just keep on going. Oh my god, maybe not. Oh, wait, and I just oh, but I just found the blue. Can, can I make the uh, the purple key? Um, this is the thing. I can't search for it in here somewhere. Do I have the blueprint for a purple key? I know I found like a fragment. Did they give me the whole thing? Oh, there it is there. I need... You are kidding me. I need three more things of the purple tablet. Because a hundred bucks says I'm going to need it to enter into this fucking doorway. Alan, why couldn't you warn me about that? Why couldn't you... Oh, by the way, mate. You need a key to get into this place. Probably find that first. But no, you sent me down to my death with a goddamn monster chasing me. Yep. Now, insert tablet. Purple key. Can't do it, mate. I can't get in and get whatever is left of your body that's in there. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that the purple tablet is probably in this, like, kind of, like, uh, like Rudolph area where I am now. Because I hadn't seen that at all until this moment. In fact, let's keep my, um, my propulsion cannon there. Because that helps me see that this is kind of, kind of, kind of kind of start spinning. It, like, flexes its dildos and tells me there's something nearby. So if I can keep this out, I might be able to find it a bit easier. Oh, I'm gonna need more thumpers. I mean, I can't just, like, be trying to around on my little tootsies the whole time. It's going to take forever. I mean, I've already been going for forever. This is going to... I mean, look, that. fuck this. Fuck this. I'm getting this done. I ain't leaving this now. I ain't coming this far to say, yeah, nah, mate. I'm fucking finishing this shit off. Oh, ho, oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, no, 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 don't do this. <laughs> I've been hiding from a giant worm this whole time. You need to leave me alone. I can't be quiet anymore. I've got to run. I've got to run. There's a giant stalker after me. Oh my god. Oh, he's, he's coming back. He's coming back. Alright, fuck it. Fuck it. Just gotta keep on going. He's coming for me. He's coming. He knows I'm here. He can smell it with his bloody blue nostrils. Oh my god. That was awful. I hated every moment of that. Well, where, I, I, where am I supposed to go? I'm looking for like caves and such. I assume there's a cable over there actually. They might my best bet. The ground's still jiggling and shaking. The worming is still nearby. But now I've got to deal with stalkers as well. Because of course I do. Oh! You know what? Just gra grab that. No, don't. Don't lose it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, I've got to scan it. Shit. Okay, there we go. Thank God. I, th I thought I had to pick it up. So I was like, I'll grab it with the bloody thing and then pick it up. But no, I almost shot it into oblivion. Okay, so that kind of confirms my theory that it's kind of hiding around where all these stalkers and Rudolph is. So if I keep on going nice and gently into all the caves around the outskirts, hopefully I'll find the other two pieces. We're halfway there. Oh, I'm starting to taste it. I'm starting to smell it. The purple tablet is calling my name and I want to get my face all up and inside it. There we go. That looks promising. Literally all I'm doing is just walking around the outside walls looking for anything that has any sort of interest. A ramp, a cave. Like that's the cave I just came out of over there with the last purple tablet. You can imagine how long it took me to dawdle all the way around here, taking like a step every couple of seconds. But we're going to get there eventually. Like fortunately for you guys, I just got to like, cut all this stuff out. So it's going to jump from like piece to piece to piece. Assuming I find them all. But I have to sit here for like, what? Like, minutes and minutes and minutes. Just you know, gently tapping W every now and again just to crawl my way closer which is bloody annoying i wish i'd have made more thumpers but also i mean the thumpers still got my uh, my harry all sorts of cooked and skewered by rudolph's red nose so it didn't particularly help me is that a piece of the way over there 
Or is it just rubble? I don't know. I, I'm getting hopeful now. Every time I see anything dark and like broken on the ground, I think, here we go, another piece of the tablet. You are shitting me. I came all the way up here and it didn't even lead me to where I wanted to be. It's just left me out on a bloody cliff face. I gotta go all the way back down again. I might have to. Uh, oh, oh, uh oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How? I sprained my ankle falling off a 30 centimeter high boulder. How did I just fall like five stories and not immediately turn myself into a gooey mess on the ground? I mean, I'm not complaining at all. I'm definitely okay with that, but like. Oh my god, that's a lucky break. I mean, that's the quick way down. I was gonna put down my little uh, my little bike and just like ride off the edge, but this works for me too. Somehow I landed so delicately, not even the bloody Rudolph knew I was here, so we can keep on going. Alright, I'm still disappointed I didn't find any tablet up there though. We'll just keep on moving around, keep on looking, hoping hoping for the best. I don't know where I'm gonna find the rest of them though. Oh, I didn't see that before last time. This is like, so when I came up that ramp and it fell off the cliff, there was a little like cave off to the right that I kind of had looked through and I thought it actually took me back to like the original kind of cave where I built the base and stuff like that uh, before I found all the green things that led me to where I need to be. But there definitely wasn't a light in that area last time. So that's promising. Maybe this is a new area after all. Because none of this really looks familiar, come to think of it, actually. I, mean, I don't want to fall off any more cliffs. I did that once, and somehow... Oh, there's a ladder here, too. All right. There's definitely ways to go over here. It's nighttime, which actually kind of helps me. Let's just kind of slide down this little slope here. Not take any extra risks. Ow! Yeah, okay, sure. You stub your toe on the way down, and you're like, Oh, that really hurt. Better gasp and moan and like, pretend like I'm dying. But you fall off a goddamn cliff, and you're like, No, no, no. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Oh! Well... Well, that's useful. Okay, night is apparently the best time to go searching for these chunks. In fact, let's not bother going down there because they give a nice little glowy light. I haven't gone to that light that I originally saw yet. Night is just super helpful in this, apparently. Come on, grab you. I can just, like, pull you up and put you down on the ground here so I can scan you. That's so much easier to find when they glow like that. You, come here. Come on, you can reach them. There you go. Pick you up. Put you there. Get my scanner tool and scan the purple tablet... Purple tablet... Purple tablet, purple tablet fragments... 75%, 3 out of 4, 1 more to go. Well, I'm not going to go down there because if there was a tablet there, then clearly I don't have to go down there at all anymore. Let's go check where that light was and see if that's also going. It's been a while since we got attacked by the ice. It doesn't mean that I don't. I feel like I'm confident with this at all. Can I make the jump? Oh. It's risky. It's risky. Every time we take a couple of steps in succession, it's risky because the Rudolph might come for you. It's taking a long time to do this, but at least I'm not dying. Dying going back to Pudge, that would take far, far longer. There's the light. I just need to find a way to get up. Oh, it's actually... There looks like a ladder just over there. And a ladder down as well. That's probably the ladder to go down to where the other purple fragment... Uh, Jesus Christ. I can't say those words for some reason. The other purple fragment was. And maybe a way back to the original cavern? I'm not sure. Let's go over that way. Just easy does it. Nice and gently. Don't want to wake up the wormy boy now. He's off having a nap. You know, it's the middle of the night. Even big giant monsters like that have to have a kip every now and again. Oh, seriously? Oh, okay. Like, oh, that was a ladder just there. Okay, I understand. Down we go. And straight. Oh, God. It's so ominous. It's so ominous and scary. I hate this. It's not quite daytime yet, but you see what I see over there? Just as the sun is rising and will remove this ability from me forever, I see some purple shimmer on the wall over there. So I'm going to keep on making my way over there. I can't wait to get back to the normal water world. You know, go back to the normal place where everything's fine and I can move at full speed and stop moving around like I've got half a leg cut off. More exciting than the purple glow is the fact that there's like some, uh, some metal over here that might protect me from Rudolph's uh, anger. We can, you know what? Just run. Just run. We can run the last little couple of feet. Oh, okay. All right, we're fine. What else is around here? Whenever I find a place like this, I'm like, yes, this is safety. Because last time I was in a place like this, Wormy Boy couldn't get to me anymore. Open you. Take a battery. It'd be good to make a thump. I pity I can't make it out here. Key analysis? What are you going to tell me? Attempts to repair the precursor may have failed. More analysis construction of new key is recommended. Well... Oh, I've got to make myself a new key. It's not just finding the fragments. I've got to make one and then come back here and open the goddamn door. Where the hell was... I mean, I made that little base with a fabricator in it, but I don't remember where it is. I guess if I fall down there, i die forever. Let's, let's not do that. How am I going to get back to, like, the original cavern where I have all this stuff already set up? I should have broken it down and taken everything with me and made myself a fabricator out here. But actually, what materials do I have on me right now? I've got... I can make... Uh, oh, actually... 
You know what? I might be able to make another one here and now. Lubricants, uh, let's just get that done. Before I go back anywhere, where is my habitat? So I'm making a little, like, this little tube base is all over the place. Let's get you out. You need a battery, though. I just found one. Lucky you. And we're going to go here and just make myself a nice little eyepiece just here. Doesn't matter where. I don't particularly care. I just need somewhere safe to go so I can fabricate my shit. I'm going to need some quartz and probably some more copper. I mean, that's fine. There's some stuff around here. Let's just grab you. Chance of copper. Copper ore. Thank you very much. Oh, don't go further that way. There was some quartz back up here, I think. Um, where was it? Back over this way. I definitely saw some causes. I just need that. I mean, I also made the solar panel on the roof as well, actually, to get the power to actually make the, um, the thing. Oh, God, I'm running. Oh, Josh, why are you running? Why are you doing that? That was silly. Go back to walking. Ice Giant gave you a chance to live for a little while, which is very generous of him. He didn't have to do that. Okay, didn't want the copper anyway, game. Cool beans. Oh my god. Okay, where was that course? It was around the corner, I'm pretty sure. I get that. I make myself my own little fabricator. I make the key. We're happy as Larry. There it is. Quartz and some diamonds over there as well. I'm not going to turn that down, but I'll take those quartz, those little quartz deposits. Do I, do I need... Oh no, it's just more quartz. I don't know how much quartz I actually need. I'll take some with me anyway. No, you are diamonds. I mean, I'm not upset. Oh, my inventory's full. I'm going to use most of it anyway. I'm not upset getting diamonds. There's a bunch of quartz back at the old base on my grab trap as well. You know what? Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Let's just get back to our own little hovel over there. And what are they even like making over there? Oh, I could just make a new one here, actually. How much titanium do I have? Do I have enough to make it? I do not. All right, I have to go back. You know what's frustrating? You know what's really, really getting my tits all sort of salty and wrinkly? When you run all that way to find some quartz and you come back... And there's quartz in the fucking wall two feet away. Look at that. Quartz right there. Could have just grabbed that, but no. Had to run. Run the risk of getting the anger and the ire of Rudolph. We managed to get all the way back again. So let's finish making that. I'm annoyed at myself. I actually am. All right. In we go. In like that. Thank you. Emergency power over. Yes, yes, yes. Oxygen I know. I know. Fabricator. You on the wall. Need to go find myself some titanium as well. Always need to find some titanium. But there should be some little deposits around here somewhere. And I also need to make myself a... Where are you? Exterior module. I need some for you too. Well, sh shit. Okay. I need to find some titanium somewhere around here. You can just go there somewhere, please. Thank you very much. Do I have the copper ore? I know I broke some copper. I do have the copper ore. So all I need now is a couple of pieces of titanium. And then we can make the tablet. Oh, wait. What do we need for the tablet? Oh! Where the shit am I going to find that? I genuinely just have no idea where I'm going to find another iron cube for. I already have found like three of them. And I turned most of that into an ion power cell and an ion battery. So I, I mean, I haven't seen any other iron cubes around. So I'm not even sure where I'm supposed to find one of these stupid things. Oh, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. I was so intent on finishing this today. I was so ready. I was so done. But this is a, this is a real big needle in a haystack. I've got to go back to Pudge. I've got to go explore the rest of the world to find another freaking arm cube. I, I, I just have no words. I have no words. I've been here so long. Days and days and days have passed. Weeks have passed even. I've run out of heat fruit, despite there being several plants around here. It just, it just takes long to move. I, I just. I just don't know, you know? I felt, I've managed to find all those pieces and I was so excited. And then just when I had hope, the game ripped, ripped it away from me again. God, this game is definitely learning some cues, taking its P's and Q's from bloody Subnautica because it's really fucking me right now. And I'm just not having a good time about it. I'm just not enjoying it. There's some titanium that I need. Give me some more, please. I've shot so much at the bloody stalkers over the journey. There's probably a bunch scattered around or lodged inside the skulls or a bunch of big doggos. Ah, damn it. I found the titanium that I needed. I only found four, which I think is all I actually did need for all of this. So let's get the um, the bloody solar panel done. Thank God it took me so long to find that it's now daytime again. So I can charge my bloody base over here. I mean, not that this is particularly worth it anyway. I have to go out and find the bloody... Joshua, I don't know why I came back to finish off the base, actually. What was the point of that? I need the iron cube to make the thing. But I'll leave it here anyway, just in case I need it. Or, actually, how much inventory space do I have? Let's just use all the repair kits. My health is full. Sure, let's eat the thingo. I'm just trying to free up some space to make my life a little bit better because... I need to go back uh, to Pudgy Boy. And I'll build another one of these like at the gate or something. I'll just make myself the, the bloody panel. I don't have to worry about the rest of this. So I built all of this for no bloody reason. I'll break it all back down again. Because, I mean, what's the point in leaving resources here? I'm never coming back here. I'm going to have to get back to Pudge. 
I have to go home, find an iron cube, make myself the purple bloody tablet, and then come all the way back here, fight the ice giant worm again, and then open the door. All for the goddamn infectious AI that's in my head. I didn't ask him to come and go get inside my brain. I didn't want that. I did not I invite him into me. But no, he jumped inside, made himself home, and now he's ruining my goddamn life. Well, there you go, guys. I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. I didn't want to, I wanted to get it done, but I just, I ran out of time. I've been going for two and a half hours at this point, and all I've done is just like slowly crawl around the ice world, trying not to get eaten by giant Rudolph Red Rose Reindeer. I couldn't even use my bloody Snow Fox. Uh, sorry, Harry. I read Andrew Harry. I forgot about it. I couldn't even use Harry because as soon as I got on the bloody thing, Ice Boy shot up and tried to eat me. I can't outrun it. I can't run away. As soon as he breaks through the ice, he knocks me off. And he does so much damage to, Snow uh, to Harry that I just don't want to lose him. So I'm going to have to trundle all the way back to Pudgy Boy, which is a long ass way away. Almost a kilometer of dragging my knees, just like scraping my patellas along the ground, all the way back to Pudgy. Then I'm going to find an iron cube somewhere. Who knows where the fuck I'm going to find one of those things. Make myself the purple tablet and come all the way back. So I, I don't know how I'm going to find the iron cube. I might have to find that off camera or something. I'm sure there's one somewhere. I'm actually going to have to do some Googling and find where I can find an iron uh, cube somewhere. Because I have no, no bloody idea. Maybe somewhere in the deep and dark and scary is I can tell. Oh, because Penny only has like, uh, what, 400 meter depth on her? I mean, she's got the drill arm. Maybe there's like a stack of cubes somewhere I can go use, but I, I just don't know. So I'll have to come back and continue Subnautica in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button, down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, if I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.